Hey guys, Carson here with another Tech Talk video. And in this video, I'll be talking about this new MacBook Pro that Apple just released. And if you're in the market for a new laptop and are considering this new MacBook Pro, there's really three options that you can go with. A 13-inch MacBook Pro with no touch bar, a 13-inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar, and a 15-inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar. Now, if you're in need of a new MacBook and you don't care anything about this new touch bar, and let's say you're somebody who only uses their computer for basic things like email, web browsing, and light document work, I would recommend to you one of three things. One, you could get the MacBook. It's super thin and super lightweight, but it is lacking in power. But this beautifully designed, thin, portable laptop can still handle your emails, web browsing, and light document work every day. Two, you could get a 13-inch MacBook Pro without a touch bar, but still get the awesome thin new design, new keyboard, larger trackpad, and better display. Or you could get last year's 13-inch MacBook Pro model starting at $1299. Some benefits would be, out of the box, this thing has better hardware than the other 13-inch MacBook Pro, and it also has all of your legacy ports so you don't have to make this conversion to USB-C so quickly. And option number three would be to get an iPad Pro. As you can see on Apple's website, they now categorize and market their iPad Pro as a computer replacement. And it truly can be if all you're doing is sending out emails, browsing the web, and doing some light document work, the iPad Pro would be a great replacement for you and a lot less costly. So the first portion of this video spoke directly to our traditional consumers who are probably using macOS for both personal entertainment and some office work stuff, right? So I really want to talk about the pro users for a minute, the professionals who use this software every day, depend on this software every day to make graphics, edit audio and video, and create awesome things, right? They depend on this combination of awesome hardware and awesome software. So this new high-end MacBook Pro comes with this touch bar, and this touch bar hasn't even been deemed worthy yet. We don't know if it's going to make pro users more productive or not. But one thing we know for sure is if you want better hardware in your MacBook Pro, you're going to have to get the touch bar. And guess what? The touch bar starts out at $17.99 in the new 13-inch MacBook Pro. $17.99 is a lot of money for a new computer, but pro users who prefer and love this 13-inch MacBook Pro design that's smaller and lighter and more portable do not want to compromise in power. So they start upgrading things like the dual-core i5 to a dual-core i7, but still it's dual-core, blech. Pro users would definitely upgrade the onboard RAM to 16 gigabytes, and also the storage is 256 gigs, which isn't bad, but most users would upgrade that as well. But even if we stuck with the standard 256 gig storage option, you still total up to a whopping $22.99, which is a lot of money on a little 13-inch MacBook Pro that really doesn't even have all the real estate that you would want. These are the best MacBook Pros that Apple's ever made, but they're also the most expensive MacBook Pros that Apple's ever made. So it's forcing people to invest more than they ever have. And if you're a pro user, I would advise you to make the right investment. And the right investment would be to, even if you're a 13 inch MacBook Pro fan, jump into the 15 inch MacBook Pro because for the money, you're getting a lot more hardware because the base model 15 inch MacBook Pro has a 2.6 gigahertz quad core, not dual core Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that same 256 gigabyte storage package. It also, this is what's most important to me, is it has two gigabytes of dedicated VRAM inside this MacBook Pro 15 inch. That's the base model. You can also upgrade it to four gigabytes, which is amazing. So for a hundred more dollars, you could have the 15 inch MacBook Pro base model, which has much better hardware than an upgraded 13 inch MacBook Pro and it has a larger screen. I think that's the best investment. And also when it's time to sell that computer to get your new one, you would get the most in return for your investment. And that's also important. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Which MacBook Pro are you gonna get? Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.